Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is an exciting one. At least I'm really excited. I've got some new Tom Ford stuff. I purchased the new face palette and I stumbled across some new spring summer 18 items that the sales associate at Eman Marcus just ever so nonchalantly kind of just like whipped out. He's like a magician. I don't even know where they came from. He whipped them out and I was with some friends and we were like, what is that? Where did that come from? What are you showing me? So these are some new spring summer 18 items. Um, he said that they're going to be kind of like trickling in. So I figured I'll probably just get them as they appear in the store and I'll just do a video when I get them. I really like to do something that's like, you know, all encompassing and very inclusive of like the entire line. But, you know, he said that they're really just going to be kind of releasing it like onesie twosie to kind of keep getting people like back to the counter. He also mentioned that it may be kind of outside of like the Tom Ford website and the Tom Ford stores, boutiques, that he thinks Neiman Marcus is the only one that's going to be getting these products. I don't know. If you're interested in seeing what I got and the face palette in action, I'm actually going to do like a demo of it, then just keep on watching. So I do look a little weird because I have like foundation and concealer and I have my eyebrows done, um, but I'm at the point where I want to start playing with this makeup. So I thought I would do it with you and show you what it is that I've been rambling about. So let me start with the two new spring summer uh, items that I came across that I stumbled across so this first one is actually a re-promote of their shade and illuminate and I have it in intensity one which is like the lighter of the two I think there's only two and it's in this new chrome packaging here's the box so instead of the gold we have the silver now we have the faux suede little pouch and here which is like already covered in my fingerprints here is the let's see if I can wipe that off a little that's a little better. <laughs> Here is the chrome packaging. I am completely blinding you. So uh, let me go ahead and open that up. So I did not have this shade and illuminate. This is in the cream formula. I did not have it. So I was so happy that I didn't have it. So I went ahead and purchased it. And we're going to be playing with the shade um, to kind of contour. But since there is um, a highlighter in the face palette, I don't want to use the highlighter in here. I want to kind of test that out all by itself. So the other Spring Summer 18 product that I picked up is like a single shadow. I almost called it a private shadow, but they're calling it actually a shadow extreme. Sorry, it's very hard to read off of this highly reflective box. Um, but here is the box again, silver versus the gold. And the packaging on this uh, single shadow is just like the private shadows. Here is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful, glitzy, gunmetal color, which I thought was an interesting choice for spring, summer. You know what else is interesting is there's no TF stamp in there. So it's just like a flat pan with no embossing. But here is the shade. And here it is swatched. So there's definitely a bit of grit to it. And the essay told me that this is definitely a shadow that you want to use with your finger. If you use it with a brush, you're just going to be kind of like blending it away and it's going to have a ton of fallout. Here's that shadow and here's a closer up of it. So it's just got this really beautiful silver glitter in there with a black base. So I feel like this is very similar to that paillette finish that he has in the private shadows. I just think that this is a lot more pigmented. Like you can wear this by itself where those paillette shadows I feel like are nice toppers. This one has like a really beautiful matte base with like basically like silver foil in there. It's so cool. It's so, so pretty. So that is the limited edition spring summer 18 shadow extreme. And now we have the face palette. So this is the Soleil Eye and Cheek palette. This is the shade Soleil D'Ombre. And this is the fifth, I think, Eye and Cheek palette that they've come out with. But it comes in the same exact packaging. So it has the faux suede pouch, and then it has this beautiful white and gold compact, and it has the same layout as the other eye and cheek palette. So here's a blush, here's a highlighter, and here are four shadow shades. So my confession here is I really got it for this blush. I'm really into like dark burnt blush colors, and this one just really, really spoke to me. Swatched, it's definitely a little bit pinker 
then it appears in the pan, you'll see in just a second. But from swatching alone at the store, the quality seems to be like Tom Ford quality. I don't feel like there are any sort of like surprises in here. And we have that typical kind of like top coat shade here. And then the rest of these shadows are like a, like a satin finish. So let me swatch the blush and the highlight for you. So here's the blush and here's the highlight. Blush and highlight. And now let's swatch the four shadows. Here are the four shadows. And there are the four shadows. So the first two are gonna be really hard to see. That first one is like a very light pink. It's almost like my skin tone. The next one is that topper color and then here are the two darker colors that you can see there really pretty i'm gonna get some like close-up shots of like swatches and of this palette up on my instagram so go ahead and follow me there i also have some closer up shots of the packaging and the products of these uh spring summer 18 products let's put this stuff on my face i'm not going to use the um dark uh, limited edition shadow at the moment because i really want to kind of focus on this uh, face palette but since there's no sort of bronzer or, or contour in the face palette, I'm going to go ahead and use this cream uh, contour from this uh, shade and illuminate that I just purchased. So I'm going to be using my Tom Ford cream foundation brush. This is the two, number two brush. Oh, also, I just want to mention, I, I know that there's been a lot of talk about Tom Ford brushes going synthetic. So what the SA at Neiman Marcus told us was that they're only going to be changing over to synthetic bristles over here in the US. I don't know why, and I feel like if they're still going to be producing both, then why don't they offer both everywhere? So anyway, just wanted to pass that information along to you. So I'm going to be using this brush and I'm going to be going into the contour and I'm just dabbing it in. And I'm going to swipe. And blend. It's a really nice shade. There's just a little bit down along the jawline. I'm so surprised I did not have this product already and I'm so glad I didn't so I could take advantage of this um, cool packaging. So there is the contour from the Shade and Illuminate palette in Intensity 1. So let's move on to the face palette. I'm taking my uh, Real Techniques blush brush. Um, actually, I think it's called like the Soft Finishing Brush. It's part of their Powder Blue line. I really love it. And I'm gonna go into the blush. I'm gonna go in real light to start with. Quite a bit was picked up and it's not very powdery, so that's nice. It's not a completely matte finish, but it is very, very subtle. Like the satin finish is just a hint of it. So there's the blush. Ooh, that's so pretty. All right, so let's try the highlighter. I have my Sonia G Sculpt 3 brush, which has been my go-to highlighter brush. This highlighter is definitely um, more powdery. I don't know if you can see that. It's more powdery than the blush. That's pretty. There is like a bit of an icy finish to it. It's a little cool toned. It's cool toned, but I don't feel like there's a lot of pink in there. Usually I feel like when I see a cool toned highlighter, at least for me, I kind of automatically envision something that's kind of pink. Um, but this is kind of cool, but there's still a bit of like a, a peachiness to it. And there is the highlighter. That's nice. It has a very, um, it has a very kind of like low key, like wet look to it. Really pretty. It's an interesting contrast to the blush. You know, the blush is so, uh, like the blush is so deep and this highlight is so kind of icy it is very very interesting um contrast and so i'm using this beauty blender to make sure they're really blended together otherwise you really run the risk of like having cheek stripe issue i like that very much all right let's move into the eyeshadows i really don't know what i'm gonna do with this look but i guess we'll figure it out together and let me zoom you guys in all right i'm just taking a big fluffy blending brush this is actually the pat mcgrath brush that came in one of her kits so i think i'm gonna go in with this uh, mid-tone shade here and uh just start on the outer corner and just sort of build that in see what happens Ooh, pretty. Wow. 
Oh, Tom Ford shadows are so, so good. They blend out so effortlessly. God, I love that shade. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a really small, flat uh, shader brush. This is a super old Stila brush. I think it's probably 20 years old, but anyway, it's just a small, flat brush. I'm gonna go into this light pink color here and use it on the uh, inner corners. It's such a soft, pretty pink color. It's very like, like ballet slipper pink. I think I'm gonna put some under my brow there, highlight my brow bone. I'm kind of liking this eye look just where it is. I feel like if this was just, you know, like an everyday thing that I was doing, I would stop right here. I think this is really, really nice and just kind of go in with some eyeliner and some mascara. But for the sake of this video, I do want to try these other two shades, especially this red shade. This is really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do with this uh, kind of deep red shade is like smoke out my eyes. I'm just going to kind of um, messily line my eyes, top and bottom. All right, so there is that red color applied. And this is what I love about Tom Ford shadows, with the exception of those like really glitzy top coat shades, all of his eyeshadows have zero fallout. So these are like a pretty shimmery, kind of like high satin finish shade. I expected a little bit of fallout here. None, zero, no fallout. All right, and last but not least is that top coat kind of shade that they always like to throw into um, these eye and cheek palettes. And I always find that it just sort of makes my eyes look a little like wet. It gives it that kind of glisten to them. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna use my index finger and I'm just gonna tap that right on top. So this eye has that top coat and this does not. Just so you can see, hopefully you can see the difference. But it really bumps up the look from like, kind of like day to evening, pretty easily. This particular shadow too, compared to some of the other top coats, it definitely has much more like pigment to it. God, do you see that how wet that looks? And it also doesn't feel as hard in this pan. It actually feels very soft. So I think they've uh, improved on this formula. All right, so let me finish up my makeup look and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts on these things. All right, so here's my final look. So my thoughts on this face palette, when I first saw preview shots of this on Instagram, I was not intrigued at all. I thought that the color combinations were a little bit weird. I thought the tone of this palette was kind of odd for spring summer. I was expecting maybe something really kind of bright, really like a bright peach with this dark blush, which I personally love. I just thought maybe it was a little bit inappropriate for spring summer. But now that I have it on my face and now that I've tried it, I just feel like this is a product, at least for me, that I wasn't expecting to really like, that I really wasn't expecting to be appropriate for the upcoming season, but it's like schooled me. Like it showed me that it is actually really, really beautiful. And I like that it's different. I like that it's not just a very kind of typical, warm, peachy, golden kind of like palette that you would expect for spring, summer. And this is what I like about the Tom Ford line. Like they're always showing me things that I didn't know that I wanted, showing me things that I didn't know that I liked. And this is definitely, like a case for that. It really works together and then just throw in some like taupe colors. I mean, really, like this palette looks like a little funky to me. Like it doesn't look like it completely gels, but I love it. I actually love the look that I came up with. So anyway, I'm super impressed with this palette. I like it much, much more than I thought I would. And I like how different it is from the past palettes. Um, and as for the spring summer stuff, just keep an eye out online and at Neiman Marcus for these things because again, my essay couldn't tell me exactly what was coming out. He did mention that there were going to be a lot of lip products that like Tom Ford is like on the warpath to become like the lip product king. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That would be awesome. And please don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video.